Hey everybody, Andy from Tennis Euphoria, bringing you my experience with the Wilson Shift. This is the 300 gram 16 by 20 version. It's still at prototype stage, despite being able to buy in small numbers, so it could change. So it's a bit of a shorter review than usual. I've had mine for a couple of weeks and have played with it in some doubles, managed to record some sort of hitting for singles, and I've given feedback as per the QR code on the racket, which I think is really clever by Wilson. It may still change. The racket um, claims to have new technology, which allows the racket to um, adapt and bend on impact as a racket typically would, but also up and down. Uh, it's been described by many as a com combination or somewhere in between the blade and the clash. Here it is next to the V8 blade, as you can see a thicker beam. Here it is next to the clash, as you can see actually the beam is relatively similar in thickness. Actually the beam is pretty much exactly the same um, as the 99 square inch steam for any of uh, you racket fans out there who remember that and interestingly the drilling pattern on this one at 16 by 20 is pretty much an exact um, match to the previous steam 100 where that had a 16 by 20 pattern too Mine was a close to spec version at 298 grams. I was really surprised by the swing weight. It was particularly low on mine, 269. I strung it up with Luxlon Adrenaline, which is a good sort of go-to string for me for reviews. I know it well at 52 pounds. And first of all, some features about the racket. That 16 by 20 pattern is actually quite open, as you can see. The bottom string is almost redundant. It is so close to the throat. Uh, my swing weight was 295 once strung. So that bottom string, I suspect, is really there because of that drill pattern that we used to have. They're perhaps a sort of using old molds and drill patterns and are layering in new technology um, in the layup that perhaps we've got from the clash. And that bottom string is so low, you can't get a dampener under it. I wonder if that's around adding some stability. Um, a lot of people are talking about the racket being exceptionally stable. Um, I would have to concur that for the swing weight, this was a very very uh, stable experience. So how does it play? I played some doubles with it, as I said, it served fantastically. For its swing weight, I was really pleased with how it uh, performed at net. Uh, it is relatively fast through the air. It does create a lot of spin. Now that is something that the previous Steam rackets, which were very popular amongst some WTA uh, tour players and um, a lot of people still used to do as well. In terms of feel, the feel I thought was great. I would guess that the RA is perhaps 61, 62. So it's a bit more than the Clash and I think that really helps it be uh, more controlled than the Clash. It's probably a similar RA to what you'd find with the Blade and possibly one of the target rackets that this is looking to compete against, um, maybe the Speed MP. So it has quite a plush and soft feel to it. Uh, it slices the ball well, and in terms of comfort, I found it to be um, exceptionally comfortable. Um, just enough feedback for it to feel plush and nice, but no um, discomfort in my arm at all. So certainly it is um, similar in some respects at a comfort level to the Clash, and I suppose it is similar in some respects to the blade in terms of um, it's close to the clash in comfort, it's close to the blade in uh, control. You're naturally gonna get more control from the blade, but the great thing about this racket is you can control it despite it being very comfortable, which is, I think, the issue with the clash for a lot of advanced players. So playability then, um, this, the launch angle is high and it does create relative amounts of power. Uh, the plow through though, um, if we were talking about power and easy depth is, is sort of pretty good, but real sort of heavy shots, plow through I found was a little bit lacking with this version, could be better with the 315. I actually liked the string pattern, loads of cut down, loads of insurance over the net, which works well for me. I could really see that others will enjoy the 18 by 20. So this is a massive thumbs up for me. My feedback was largely really positive that I posted 
boosted back to Wilson. I think um, I would enjoy a little bit more plow. I think that if this was at 305 grams um, unstrung, then I think this could be um, just perfect, to be honest. I thought it was um, excellent. I didn't really get much sort of different, sort of revolutionary sensation around the racket bending in a different way, um, but it was everything that I sort of hoped that the Clash 98 would be. That is um, how I can describe it. Um, I always hoped that the Clash would offer that easy power, loads of comfort, but then ultimately loads of control, a, a racket that sort of advanced players could get behind and um, really sort of enjoy the comfort. And um, I think the Clash 98 still isn't quite there. This is though. I thought it was um, uh, really, as I say, everything that I hoped the Clash 98 would be. So where is this sitting in the market and who should consider it? What markets is this um, sort of up against? What other rackets would it compare to? Well, I suppose it's hard to compare it directly with others because it has quite a unique feel. Um, it's got obviously a unique head size. Um, as I think I've probably demonstrated, I doubt that everything is totally new apart from everything in the layup. But I think this is uh, sitting in between, if you were to look at heads line, the um, Speed MP and the Extreme MP. You get Extreme MP sort of launch angle and you get um, lots of spin, probably not quite as much as the Extreme MP, not quite as much power as the Extreme MP and a similar sort of feel to the Oxetic um, Speed MP. Um, it's hard to compare it to Babalat rackets. You probably get a similar launch to the Pure Aero. Um, I would imagine similar amounts of spin, but then obviously a very different feel. So I think this does sort of sit on its own. Um, uh, this is probably where I would describe it best as sitting in between the head speed MP and the extreme MP. I'd also compare it to the Prince Techstream Tour 310, the open pattern 16 by 18. But I think this is a really excellent addition to Wilson's lineup. Hope that was of interest. I'll obviously look to review in more depth when they come out proper. And I'm really keen to test the 315. So if anyone from Wilson Labs is watching, I'd love a version, please. Um, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.